What is up, and it's going on guys, Simsy here, and today for you, I have another episode of my Wolverhampton Wanderers career mode. We're actually starting in the transfer deadline day, and Barcelona have picked up two Manchester City players, Nazri and Balotelli, so they've gone big, they've spent 60 million, I think they show interest in Hummel, so if they sign Hummels, they've spent 90 million, which is ridiculous, <laughs> to say the least. Um, Real Madrid are going to have to catch up to them, but they only ended up signing Nazri and Balotelli. We ended up semi match against Reading because I thought we would have won it, but um, weirdly enough, we lost. So this is my 17th episode. I'm just going to have a quick swig of Fanta here. Ah, fucking awesome. Let's get into this career mode. So we ended up <laughs> going back and winning 4-0 against Stoke City. Wow. I was really happy about that result. Adrian Wallison scored, and uh, yeah, we're going to be continuing with the career mode. I'm going to be sticking to it. And I'm really enjoying it at the moment, so I can't wait to do more. We versed West Ham again. Last time we versed West Ham, we drew 1-1, but uh, that was at home as well. And we ended up winning Big Sieg and Adrian Wallison. Amazing trio up front. Also, Sacco Sterling on the wins. Mwah. Perfect. <laughs> it's kind of gay. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Anyway, we won 1-0 over Aston Villa. Stearman, the boss that scored that amazing bicycle kick in the Manchester City match. I still remember that match. Bloody hell. So... Reversing Manchester City at the moment. Now, they're third at the moment. They've lost Balotelli, Nazri, and uh, they have Les Cot and Torre injured. But it was not so long ago, which they had Aguero and David Silva injured as well. So, it's going to be very interesting how we come up against them. And we ended up scoring in the 50th minute. We broke the deadlock in the 50th minute. The first half was really quiet, nothing, not really any chances of either side that were good enough to be shown. But yeah, it's going to be very interesting how Manchester City do develop and uh, where they end up finishing in this year. They've had a really shocking and rough year, but they have a lot of money. So uh, it's going to be, they have 60 million to spend, I would imagine they have an additional 40 somewhere. They haven't made any big signings, so uh, we could be seeing <laughs> an around now, a Ronaldo or Messi coming in the next couple of years. So it's scary, but um, we're, it doesn't really affect us very much. We're doing well, Wolverhampton. And in the 90th minute, their goalkeeper, Joe Hart, was brung up to try and score a goal. And Big Sig goes ham with a massive halfway goal. That's about halfway, I'd say. Oh, probably not. But um, brings it back to 2-0. That's that's what you get, Joe Hart. Big Sig just punishes them. What an amazing shot. Even to get it from that... Oh, it's probably about 40 yards <laughs> now that I look at it. But yeah, I was really happy of how that developed. We ended up beating Manchester City at home 2-0. But there were a lot, a lot of factors of saying why. And um, it does make sense because... We haven't, we haven't been playing, oh, I don't know. We've been playing well. Wolves have been playing exceptionally well. I've been happy with their performance. Even though it's starting, a little, getting a little bit unrealistic between Manchester United and Manchester, oh, Chelsea. Sorry, that's it. So we ended up winning that match. Adrian scored one and Big Sig also scored one as well. Oh, sorry. Adrian and Fagner got an assist. So let's continue on with the episode. That was the, This is the last game of the episode we're going to be going into. The Youth Academy, and uh, having a look at the current... Oh, we can't be transfers because uh, the match is finished. Anyway, just showing you the stats, pretty even. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Why not? 2-0, what an amazing result. Now, Youth Player wants out. Now, this is when you meant to sign them. Um, Ichi Yamamoto actually wants out. Now, this is when you sign them because they've developed enough in the Youth Academy, and this player should be high enough... I'm going to put him on loan straight away, but I want to get him a fair few matches as well. So let's have a look at him. Uh, what's his name? Ch -ch -ch Yamamoto. There's too many Yamamotos. <laughs> but I remember it was Ichi. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. He has a potential of 48. A starting potential of 48, around 63. And uh, he's going to be a really good player if he actually uh, decides the contract. So I'm going to be playing him a lot more. The, uh, the not-so-high players... I will be selling them on to make a bit of a profit. Now, looking at the BPL goals, Adrian has actually taken over a CD. A CD led the way most of the Premiership, uh, the yeah, the Barclays Premiership, but we ended up uh, Adrian actually stepped it up, so he's probably going to get the Golden Boot of the year, which is awesome. Hopefully, we also got Nori Yamamoto once out, so we're going to be 
hopefully signing another youth player. So at the moment, we're currently leading with nine line points clear of Liverpool, which really, really surprising. Now, this look at this player, Yamamoto. I'm probably going to sell him because he has a roughly around about the potential of the 70, 75th, 70 mark. So um, we actually signed our first uh, player, Yamamoto. Ichi Sake Yamamoto, I think that's how you pronounce his name, but um, Manchester City and Manchester United and Chelsea, of course, are not far away. So let's actually have a quick look at his stats. Let's have a look at Yamamoto. Now, he has four-star skill moves, one-star weak foot, five foot eleven, that's kind of average, but he's 16 years old, 61 overall, high defensive, medium attacking, so he's, he's all right. Um, we also got a manager. We offered, offered a job at Tottenham Hotspur. Now, I declined it because I don't want to go anywhere. I want to continue with this Wolves career mode, and uh, I'm really happy with it. And we're winning at the moment. See, Manchester United and Spurs are not too far away. So, we signed um, Nori Yamamoto. 16-year-olds, 5 foot 11. See, he's not that great. He's a little bit faster. Got a little couple of little better stats. Nice, a lot of ball control. But he's only 54 overall, so we're most likely going to be putting him on a loan and selling him off later because there's not a point, he doesn't have very high potential compared to Ichi Sak Yamamoto. And we still haven't got an offer from that Portuguese guy. Anyway, heading on to the end of the episode, we've got a couple of sims. We have a match against Swansea, we lost 2 1. D. Guzman and Nathan Dyer scored, but Big Sig <laughs> wouldn't let them. Uh, let them have the win without a trouble goal with him. He scored one. Adrian, Big Sig, and Blizzag, Blizz, Big Blaz. <laughs> We're just calling Blaz. 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 Yeah. Blaz. I sound like a spastic saying that. <laughs> Blaz, our free agent, picked up his second goal of the season. And I just wanted to see him a little bit. I was kind of getting a little bit no, over the matches. So we had uh, a match against Newcastle. And one, one nil. Adrian is actually leading the assist just behind Wallison on eight. And Big Sig on six for our club. So in the next episode, we have a match against Liverpool. So without further ado, hope you enjoyed this episode. It's getting really exciting. We're bringing up the youth players. We're doing spectacularly well in the, champ uh, the Barclays Premier League. But without further ado, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. This has been Simpsy. I'm out later, my friends. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Just before I leave you, could I please ask you to follow me on Twitter? It's the best way to interact with me. I respond to every single tweet I get. On that, you'll be able to see when I post a video. Uh, giveaways coming up and also when I'm playing subscribers and also if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to me to get the most recent and up-to-date content on my channel so thanks guys bye